Welcome everybody! In the last episode we did break a hard dependency to put this legacy code under test, achieving 100% code coverage. But don't be fooled. Code coverage just means that the tests actually execute those lines. It does not mean that the tests are able to catch all faults. And there is one technique that can help us verify the quality of our tests and that is called mutation testing. In mutation testing, you make subtle changes to your production code and then check whether the tests fail, which they should. And when they do not fail, you found a hole in your tests. There are even tools doing this for you. I have prepared a tool called PyTest. I have added it as a Maven plugin. And when I run it, it will do just what I described. has prepared some mutations that it will do in my production code and run the tests for each of the mutations and then check whether it finds a case where the test survives. It will generate a report like this and it will show problems. We are searching for lines that are shown in red because this is a case where we did a mutation and the test was still green, which is a problem. And in this case, for example, it shows that it changed the conditional boundary and test survived. So what it probably did was it, it changed it to something like, I don't know, maybe like greater or equals then. Let's try run the test with this. Yeah, and the test still works, so this is one hole. This means our current tests do not cover the case where the count is zero. To fix this, we would add another test and have fetch mean list return an empty array. This results in the count being zero and we could verify that there are no interactions with the outliner in this case. But if we needed even higher confidence than this, we could change the configuration to use all of the available mutators. This would take a little bit longer. We will probably find much more holes in my code. I did fast forward it for you, but this took one minute. And let's look at the report. As you can see, there are many more red lines and many more things that I would have to test for in my test suite. You have seen how code coverage can be misleading and how mutation testing can help find gaps in the tests. Use it wisely and fill some of those gaps to further increase the confidence in your tests. I'm Gregor, see you next time.